but thankfully we've, got, we've acquired a lot of depth and, and our backups are getting really strong. And so there's a lot of excitement for me, you know, of uh, just where we were three years ago in the program to where we are now going into year four, I feel confident. Space limitations are gonna be a thing of the past here, not too long from now. I think you said January 2026, occupying a new wrestling facility. Um, almost wrestling specific because you're going to share with volleyball and, and whatnot, which we've seen around the country, but you've got to be excited about that, right? So you're going to get a new wrestling facility. Talk to us about that. Yeah, really excited. Uh, I mean, gosh, we broke ground on this new, when I say we, the university broke ground on a new facility back in March of this year. And they thought it was about an 18 month project. And that timeline is held pretty true. We anticipate being using that space around January of the so the second semester of the 25-26 season. So uh, that's really exciting. I mean, now we're coming up on 14 months or so away from potentially moving in, which is really exciting. Um, we'll go from one kind of one mat plus a little bit of space of a practice space to three full mats plus cardio plus a locker room that you know feeds right into our wrestling room and then the competition venue. And so. It's a really exciting time. I mean, you know, everything, it'll, like you mentioned, it'll be a one-stop shop for wrestling. The weight room we will lift in will be right below us. We'll have the wrestling room, we'll have the locker room, we'll have our coaches' offices, we'll have the competition venue, we'll have the sports, uh, or the athletic training room. Everything is right there for our guys, so there's no shuffling around. And so for wrestling, um, it's definitely a huge benefit.